Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am super excited to share with you guys na meron akong cash loan app na na-try and then nakakuha ako ng 25k na loan in less than 5 minutes guys and this 25k loan is payable in 12 months very low interest or at least comparatively low compared sa ibang mga loan apps na napag-usapan na natin sa channel na to and I think ito yung pinakamagaling na loan app sa balat ng lupa well, I really can't tell yet to be honest pero feeling ko lang so if you wanna know more about this cash loan app then please stay tuned What's up guys? My name is Ren and I do reviews of online loan apps and mga buy now pay later platforms. My videos are not sponsored and based on my personal experience as a user of this app. So wala nang paligoy-ligoy po guys, yung app na pag-uusapan natin dito is yung si Gcash. And Gcash actually offers G loans. Um, before tayo mag-continue, before ko ipakita sa inyo yung process, there's a certain caveat to this G loan service because G loan it's actually a financial service that's available to selected, pre-approved, and qualified na individuals based on their G-score. So I'm gonna be honest, my G-score at the time of filming is 729. And then recently ko lang na-realize na na-unlock na pala si G-loan sa akin. If your G-score is not yet high enough and you wanna get tips on how to raise your G-score, then you can check out the links na nilagay ko sa description box because I really hope na yung mga tips na na-share ko in a previous video can help a lot. So guys, like I said, yung app na ginamit ko is G-Loan and I'm really very surprised and very thankful na unlock na siya sa akin because like I said, I think this is, ito na yata yung loan app na pinakamagaling sa balak ng video. After a while, makakagawa ako ng video comparing G-Loan with my other favorite which is Bill East. So let's just talk about G-Loan sa video na to. So, how or where can you check kung qualified ka na ba sa G-Loan? So, just go to your Gcash app and dun sa dash dashboard, click mo yung display all the services and under financial services, you will see G-Loan. So, if it's your first time to click on G-Loan, the next window is gonna show you a little overview of what G-Loan is about. So, let's just go over it really quickly. So, you can borrow up to 25,000 pesos, guys. And we want something na pwede natin bayaran on installment and this is what G loan offers. Dalo yung pagpipilian mo dito 9 to 12 months and interest can be as low as 2.89% per month. Some you guys, this is really a good interest because if you're familiar with the other loan apps that offer only short term loans like 7 days and 14 days or every 15 days lang, due date na kaagan, these loan apps offer, um, yung mga interest ng mga loan apps na to is usually 1% or yung iba nga 2% per day pa. So, di unfair naman. The reason why I'm so happy about Gcash is because 2.89% or lagay na natin 3% per month siya guys. Per month. Ang galing, di ba? So, meron po siyang processing fee which is 3% and it for me is very reasonable. So if you're ready to get started, just click the blue button that says get started. And then the next window will show you this slider that will let you choose the amount na gusto mong bayaran. So you, the minimum amount is 5,000 and the maximum amount is 25,000. Options to pay it 9 months or 12 months. So may computation sa baba. So if you're gonna borrow 5,000, papakita niya sa yung processing fee na babayaran mo is 1,000 is 150. So yung proceeds yung maninet mo is 4850. So yung magiging monthly mo naman kung pinili mo siyang bayaran in 9 months period is 700 pesos per month. So wala siyang shorter than 9 months. It just says the minimum term here is 9 months. So how about so pag 25,000 I think it wala kang other option but to pay it in 12 months. So, hindi mo mapipili yung 9 months. The computation dito is that yung 3% ng 25,000 is 750. So, yung money net mo is 24,450 and the interest is 2.59 per month. 12 months, yung babayaran mo is 2,730. You will need to select the purpose for this. So, meron siyang drop down and you will need to select from these options. Once your mind is made up kung ano yung loan amount ng loan na ititake mo. Tapos, if comfortable ka sa monthly payments mo, then you can click get this loan. And then the next window will show you a summary. So there's no such thing as accidental na piliin mo yun guys because there are so many windows that you need to go through before mo matatanggap yung pera at ilang beses mo makikita yung summary ng loan mo. Or again, if you're very sure, 
Kasi na-review mo na yung summary, then just click continue. The next window will show you yung personal info na andun na sa GCash. And all you need to do is just review it and make sure that it has the right info. If it's all correct, then just click next. And the next page is actually something na kailangan mo i-fill out. For example, yung nickname, yung gender, yung civil status, yung other mobile number, yung landline number, whether or not you own a small business. I honestly said that I don't, so pasa naman ako. I'll just be very honest in filling out this form. And then, emergency contact. So, yung nilagay ko dito is yung pangalan ng aking asawa. Once you, you're done with page 2, then just click next. And the next or and the next page will let you review all this information. So, again, you'll need to go through a lot of windows before... Uh, uh, before mo finally matanggap ng pera, review mo na tama na yung personal info na nilagay mo dun sa app. Now, you need to click the data privacy agreement link and you'll need to go over this agreement before that little square there becomes clickable. And once nalagyan mo na siya ng check, magbublue yung submit sa baba and then you can click on it so you can proceed to the next window. So, the next window will let you again see the summary of the loan na ina-applyan mo. And then at the bottom, there are two agreements that you need to check. And then again, you need to click on these blue lines because you have to go over these agreements before you can um, actually put a check on those little boxes. So, pag na check mo na yung dalawang box, and the continue button at the bottom will um, turn blue and then it will become clickable. So, just click that and then it will ask you to confirm na totoo nga naglo-loan ka ng 25,000 pesos and that you agree na you will be receiving the net proceeds of 24,250. Then, it will ask you to put in an an OTP. Ipapadala niya sa number na nakaregister sa GCash mo. So, pag natanggap mo yung OTP, just put it there and then just click submit. And, loan is successful. Again, there's no such thing as accidentally nakapag-loan ako guys because yun nga, ang dami mong windows na pagdadaanan bago mo makita yung sinasabing loan successful na page. And then, just wait for it. And at 4 a.m. in the morning, less than 5 minutes, guys, natanggap po siya sa akin GCash. Planning to make a video comparing it with Bill Ease because also Bill Ease is also a favorite loan app of mine. And well, yeah, ngayon ko lang na-discover na may ganito pala si GCash. So, anong ginawa ko sa 25,000? Yung 15,000 nilagay ko dun sa G-Invest because what I wanted to do is put it somewhere safe. Hindi ko siya, ayaw ko siyang malagay dun sa banko ko kung saan may ATM kasi ayaw ko siyang maging readily accessible. Now, with G-Invest, meron siyang chance na mag-earn before ko siyang ma-withdraw. And then, kung sakali mang i-withdraw ko siya, it takes 7 business days pa bago ko siya matanggap. At least, hindi siya kasing accessible compared dun sa bank account kung saan na-withdraw ko siya kaagad ng ATM. So, and of course, because naglagay ako ng pera sa G-Invest, it will help increase my, my G-score. So, yun lang guys yung mas share ko and I hope you find this video helpful. Don't worry kung hindi pa qualified yung GCash mo sa G-Loan based on your G-score because like I said, there are many ways to increase your G-score. So, thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you again on my next one. Bye!